Today I'll be showing you some multiplication tricks for squaring two digit numbers. I want to say that none of these are mine, I just wanted to sh uh, teach you about it. The first one works for any two digit number. Let's say 37. What you want to do is add the ones digit to the entire number. Uh, it will get me 44. Then, you want to multiply the number you got with the tenth digit. Uh, you would get 132 and add the zero because it is in the tenth digit. Finally, you want to multiply the one digit together and then add it to the number you just got. The answer is 1369. This trick works for any two digit number that has the same tenth digit. Now I'll show you why it works, because a why is a very important question. So if let's visualize it. You can visualize it with rectangles. Uh, none of these are scale, obviously. So in this trick, what you do is you take this and then pretty much just put it here which which will look like which will look something like this now the top part is 44 <laughs> I messed up here I went to write 30 the first time not 37 the top part is 44 and this rectangle the area is 44 times 30. Now this is obviously 7 times 7. Now you add this to 44 times 30 to get the answer. This is why this also works with any two-digit number. Any two two-digit numbers that have the same tenth digit. For example, let's say... 27 and 26 you would visualize them like this 20 20 7 6 you would take this put it here which would make the top one 33 and then you multiply it by 20, which will get you 660, and finally add the, the product of the one stage of it, 42, so the answer is 702. The next one works with two digit numbers that have a 5 in the one stage of it. Let's say 35. So if you ever see this, the the tens digit and the ones digit is always 25. And then the ten the hundreds digit, thousand digit, ten thousand digit, ten thousand digit is this number plus one times this. This num this number plus one times this so n n plus one is the formula. If you put three into it, it will be three three plus one or twelve. So twelve twenty five is the answer. Uh, this also works with any two 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 digit numbers that have the same tenth digit. And the ones digit add up to a ten, like thirty four and thirty six. In the case of thirty four and thirty six, uh, the bottom will be twenty four and it will be twelve twenty four. Again, let's see why this works. Again, visualize it with uh, rectangles. So we know that this is 25. 
So just put it off to the other place. Put, put the 25 away. The next step is like the first one. Take the 5 and put it here. Top part is now 40, which is 3 plus 1 times 10. If you multiply these together, you get 1200, and you add the last 25. This is why, again, this also works with any two two-digit numbers that have the same 10 digit and the one digit add up to a 10, because this could be a 4 and this could be a 6, with this being a 24 and the thing would still work fine. The last one, the two digit number has a one in the ones digit. So, so 31 and 31. In this, the ones digit is one. The tens digit is the tenth digit in the factor times two, so in here it would be six, and the hundredth digit and beyond would be the tenth digit times the tenth digit. Now let's see why this one works. I'll again visualize this with the rectangles. This is 1, this square right here, that's why the 1 digit is 1, and these two both have the area of 30, and this is why the 10 digit is 60, or 10 digit times 2, and this one obviously is just this times this, or the 10 digit times the 10 digit. Uh, thank you for watching, I rambled a lot. Not, not ramble, this was an all in one take, it was weird, and not to mention that I messed up a lot, I didn't show things in some clips, but it was good enough.